Hello Lee, welcome to your annual forecast. No, I know it's almost half of the month. And oh, actually, it's almost end of the month. But yeah, it's better late than never, I guess. All right, let's take a look. Looks like the month of January for you. Well, you know, at least we're all within the last week of it. Uh, you're going to be discovering a few things. You know, fire sign that will be um, more likely an Aries or Leo, another Leo, that will be uh, betraying you. Which is, I feel like you're, all, you're already aware of this. And... Um, At work, um, I feel like there's also a competition between you and this other guy. Um, who also wants the same thing as you. It looks like someone is... Having an affair. Okay, the month of January for you is all about opening up your eyes and um, realizing all of your advantage and disadvantages in a relationship that you're in. Okay, there will be some communications and discussions that the two of you will sit down and talk, but then it's like your partner is just going to listen to you and not really going to contribute much to your solution, you know, to the problem that you've been having, especially that you've been not really understanding each other that l you're no longer in the same page or the other one is longing for another thing and then while you're also longing for another thing so i feel like both of you will just decide that um, both of you need some time off or to be away from each other which is i feel like this is really what's um what's really necessary at this point because the two of you are having a lot of hard time understanding each other and there are too much i mean there there are too many blockages that you have to deal with and you have to wipe off some of the unwanted um outside resources okay or outside influences um if you're actually married to an air sign then there will be some gambling and drinking problems okay that I feel like with a shortage of um, finances 
and with the um, you know with the influence of the alcohol then definitely there will also be some mm, violent fights you know domestic abuse that I can see if this happens to you it's time for you to uh, make a stand for yourself and don't settle for this kind of re toxic relationship okay I have to speak a little bit um, slowly and uh, soft because my um, my throat is really itchy and um, if I speak a little bit louder it's um, I'll, I'll start coughing okay so anyway um, now when it comes to your work it seems like your work will finally be coming into a lot of you know like um, light achievements recognition it's like you're you know the people that you're working with they're gonna be very happy for you they will also be um, teach uh, well they will also be teaching you how what to do and um, you know like giving you some very sound advices about how to deal in a situation and I also feel like you need to you need to open up a little bit, you know, to some of the people whom you're working with. I can see a lot more success that's going to be coming your way. And in fact, that you're going to be very happy with the progress and development that's going to be coming your way, you know. Um, things will become even more stable and uh, your finances will um, gradually increase. And most of your hard works and hard labors in 2018 will definitely be paying off this year. But... When it comes to your love life, there will be a lot of things that you'll be feeling a little bit depressed about and it will be affecting your performance. Now, when it comes to your love, it seems like some Leos will be going through some divorces, okay? Because um, they're already fed up and they've already had enough of the uh, tricks that this water sign will be pulling off and um, it seems like there are also some issues about having a job or um, doing more jobs or not really paying attention to the relationship or it seems like you know the work is getting in the way between the two of you and I also feel like there are some connivance that's been going on you know like in a like a like an office affair and you will be catching your spouse red-handedly or there will be some evidence of their betrayal okay either you're married to a fire or to a water sign and with this it seems like as long as you're going to be keeping everything to yourself and for your children if you have one you'll be very happy now sex life I feel like you are going to be very, very experimental and very active, but you will be very, um, you know, it's like you're going to be a little bit unsatisfied with the, with how things are going to go this, this month. And um, there is a chance that you are the one who will be meeting someone and will be, you know, um, um, will be hiding this. And um, I feel like you're going to have a little side entertainment, okay? But this will only last for six months. And right after that, it seems like you are going to be more liberated, okay? Or you're going to be opening up yourself to new possibilities, even though you're already married or you're already with someone. If you are not this kind of Leo, then this is not for you, okay? But there are also some Leos who's also going through the same now, when it comes to your health, be very careful with the untested and, um, um, you know, untested and, um, you know, those medicines that they did not really pass through the quality control or they are not their region, um, sampling or experimentations. Be very careful with that because I feel like instead of creating more cure, instead of creating more um favor for you it seems like it's there will be some side effects to your um to your health and to your um appetite as well and not to mention that there is a possibility of you developing an ulcer now you'll be very conscious of how you look like and i feel like you'll be changing your appearance 
And、uh, you will also be very conscious of your teeth for some reason. Now, seafood diet, and、um, I feel like sticking around with much more vegetables. And right after that, I don't see much about you know, any major illness. Your health will be very good this month, except that you will have some frequent arthritis and、um, bone problems. Okay, or muscle pain. Let's take a look at your singles forecast. Somebody from the past is coming back into your life, okay? And this is a fire sign. And I feel like there will be some things that you will have to leave behind, or that you just need to discard this person's presence since that it has brought you know, a lot of、uh, oblivion in your life. I feel like some Leos have one son or a child from this person. And I feel like. The two of you will still get back together, or there's still a possibility of you reconciling. Now, there will also be a new beginning with someone new who is an older earth sign. And by the end of this month, you have to make a decision about what to do and where, your, and where your life should go. Yep. So, there will be some tricks that's going to be, you know. That's going to be at play, or the universe will be playing some tricks on you. But then there will be some more、um, victorious moments, okay? So I feel like with this person that's going to be coming into your life, you have to reconsider it, okay? And if this is the person who's been you know, hurting you in the past, then I feel like it's just time for you to close the door it, because this person will never change if this is the ex that's been causing you a lot of toxicity, all right? Let's take a look at your month of February. All right, Leo. Okay, let's take a look at your、uh, February forecast. You know the good thing about here is, you know that there is something that's been happening right behind you, and you know that someone is also doing some mischievous things. But、uh, you will rise to the occasion, and you will actually resolve this. You will even come out even more stronger and smarter. Okay. Your work will still be very fabulous, so. You'll be very happy with the、um, status and with the、um, 
of the outcome of your career this year but uh, as for your love life it seems like you need to be a little bit more careful especially for singles okay be very careful with your choices of uh, you know prospects or people that you really want to be with sometimes they may appear as very promising and pleasing and it's like they are your soulmate but most of the time they will appear as who they are not okay it's like they're only wearing a mask so Now, this month of February, okay, it's not going to be as promising as how it should be, but there will be a lot of obstacles that you, s that you still have to face and that you still have to go through. Number one is that you will still, um, well, you will still catch someone betraying you and even lying to you. And that person who's been wearing a mask is somebody that will make you even more stronger because this month... You will feel like I am so sick and tired of being a doormat, okay? I'm so sick and tired of people treating me like they can just manipulate me with their fingers, you know, and uh, make me move like a, um, you know, like a puppet, like a string puppet. So, you will be dealing with this emotional betrayal with much strength and bravado. And, um... I feel like you are going to be coming out of your, you know, inner animal strength, which is uh, obviously the, you know, the lion. And um, you will ma you'll be making a decision, okay, about this person that instead of um, being sorry or instead of apologizing to you that they get caught, you know, for whatever it is that they've been doing to you right around the third week of this month of February, they have the nerve or they'll have the guts to say that it is your fault why you you know why i'm doing this you pushed me so <laughs> so obviously you don't really want to deal with this um you know toxic person and um i feel like you will just um, put your foot down and say that enough is enough i'm done you know get out of my house or uh, you know the door is open you can leave at any time and you will no longer be, it's like you, you don't want this person to affect you, to cut you through, and to pierce you emotionally. Because you are so tired of being tired. You're so tired of crying, and you are so tired of being in pain constantly. Something inside of you this month will be rising to the occasion and will be like rising from the pain and agony. Because you've already been going through with this for how many months already and especially last year you know most of Leo's last year have been crying and suffering in silence and have been waiting for somebody to to come and to come back or to at least um, you know apologize for whatever they have done but this month it seems like you will be changing like no I'm not gonna let you hurt me again I'm not gonna let you make you cry like how you used to be you know I'm so tired and I'm so you know, I'm so done with this. Okay? So, I'm not saying that you're going to be a stone-hearted person, but it's like this is the time where you will be drawing the line with this antagonistic person. Okay? Especially if you're with someone younger. Alright? And it's an air sign. So, 
you need to be a little bit more careful as well with the words that you're going to be saying because it might just bounce back at you when you're done just you know just walk away um words will come out later on when you're ready but i feel like um all you ever wanted right now is just to have some peace of mind in your space i don't feel like this person will ever be walking away for real but um i can see that the the two of you will be going back and forth back and forth and that uh, you know by the end of the month this person will say um, you're the one who doesn't want to work it out. I keep on doing this. I keep on saying this, but you're not listening. Blah blah blah. blah. So they're going to be reversing it. Okay, they're going to um, they're going to be doing the uh, turning tables. Okay, so I feel like you'll be um, emotionally walking away and closing your door for this person because you've been waiting for months or even years for them to change. All right. Now, when it comes to your work, you will definitely be the winner. Okay, either there is a, a promotion or a new job opportunity or break that you're going to be having or that will be awarded to you and you will be celebrating right by the, uh, well, not really by the end of the month, but it's more like the middle of the month with your family and then there will be like a surprise party that the company will be giving you. Um, some Leos will be accepting a new role in a new company, so there will be like a farewell party. And some will be um, taking on a, a new department or a new team or something like that. But in overall, there will be a new opportunity that you will be taking over. And you'll be very happy with the outcome of your, um, what do you call this, of your um, career. All right. So, and you, no, not to mention that you will also, you know, you will also um, have some time to spend with your family or with your kids. I'm sorry. Um, when it comes to your love life, as I've said, okay, you will be so ready to like defend your turf. Like you will start thinking about, you know, like I can't really deal with this pain anymore. I can't really deal with this kind of relationship anymore. Of course that there will be some things that will still be piercing you through, but you feel like you know, like, I don't want to feel it anymore. You know, my life is already doing well. My finances are already pulling up. And this relationship is the only one that's been pulling me down. And I really don't want to deal with this anymore. You know? There will still be some communications. And there will still be some discussions that will be happening between the two of you. But you will be very decided to just, you know, put this to an end. And I feel like some Leos will be filing for a, di for a divorce this month. Starting this month. Because of the lies and betrayals that you will be discovering that it's not just once, it's not just two, it's not just, you know, three times. It's been like series. Okay? So, some Leos will be filing for a divorce or some Leos will have a f like a finalization of their divorce and will be getting the, uh, the decision this month. Okay? And I feel like uh, most of you will be getting the, um, well... Well, the cost, the, it's mostly, okay, it depends on the situation, but mostly it's 50-50. But um, I feel like you also want to have or you want to file for a petition of having of doing the 100% uh, since that you will be able to uh, support your child yourself, okay? And I feel like you will have a brand new foundation, even though love is something that is, you know, like you're not really lucky in this department, you're still open, okay? And you're still open to the possibilities that someday you will still gain your, your happiness and that person who can really make you feel like, you know, um, you're worth value or you're worth of something that they will always treasure, okay? Actually, let's get a clarification on that because, um, you know, this is actually, this relationship that you're in is a karmic connection. It's a, it's, it's a karmic relationship. And from what I can see here, that right after learning your lesson in this, you know, in this relationship, in this situation, 
there is a brand new beginning you will be going through a huge transformation stage or phase and right after that you will be finding the right one the next person that will be falling in love with you not not the one that you're going to be falling in love with the one who's going to be falling in love with you and it's a water sign this is the one that will be offering you a lifetime of happiness and love and devotion of course that there's no relationship that is you know that is perfect that there will always be tears and pain and anguish you know but at least that this person will be making you feel like you know like it's um it's worth loving again or it's worth being in a relationship again or caring for someone or letting someone care for you or letting them into your life or letting them into your circle all right this is a water sign that you will be meeting in the month of october okay for those who's actually going through a period of struggles and strife and divorce in their relationships or in their marriage now when it comes to your sex life you'll be making a decision that you you know you will find out that this person that you thought that you're the only one unfortunately is actually hiding a lot of things from you and it's not as, as i've said it's not just once not just two it's not just three okay that this person has some secret life okay or we all have our own secrets but then you will be discovering that this person is actually different from how you actually know them now you will still have one last sex okay until the end of the month right before you really part ways and there will be some tears and it will be an emotional farewell but still you will have your one last cry well, that person will be walking away with cold feet or cold heart and they will expect you to chase them down. But no. Okay, you're done. And don't ever do that. So, now when it comes to your health, because of the stress and because of the depression that you're going to be going through, you will be... It's like, you know, there will be some allergies and there will be some bumps or red, um, red dots that will be coming out of your skin or face. And this is actually what happens to you when you're too stressed or when you are too it's like um it's like your stress is coming out in that form okay now you'll also be very conscious about how you how you appear in public or how you appear in the, you know in front of other people and you'll be very conscious of your exterior beauty i mean you'll be changing your aura you'll be changing your you know your hair color and everything and i feel like you will be buying some creams or some you know some beauty stuff that will make you look different you'll be pampering yourself but it's actually very normal for those women who uh, who are actually going through some periods of breakup or separation and for men i feel like you'll be grooming yourself and you'll be visiting a lot of um uh, salon as well and you'll be buying new clothes especially neckties for some reason you're gonna be a little bit obsessed with net with neckties okay and huh, well some leas will also find out that they are pregnant during this month but um even if that's the case you know you'll still be able to pull it off and um you know make it on your own I feel like you're not going to tell your, uh, you know, your ex that you're pregnant because you know that if you will, if you will tell them that that is the case, that they, you know, there is a chance that they might stay and that is not the one that you wanted to happen. You know, in some situations, especially last year, if you found out that you are pregnant, you will tell your, you know, you will tell the father of your child for them to stay or for them to at least be responsible for it. But then this year, most Leos will be changing and most Leos will be coming out from their, you know, real animal totem or from their real animal nature. Okay, so I feel like you'll be strong enough. And uh, by the end of the month, I feel like your ex will still find out about it or within the next three months. And they will try to get involved more with your life, but just you're going to be closing your doors. Okay. Aside from that, I feel like you just need to be a little bit more um, 
spend more time outdoors, especially early in the morning, so that you'll have, you know, um, fresh air to breathe. And uh, we also need to go for some new exercise and meditate. And for those who's um, smoking, you need to quit smoking because, number one, because of your ulcer, and then your throat, and then your lungs. Okay, for those who's actually working in the broadcasting, then or if you're actually using your voice um, that, uh, in your job, then there will be some frequent sticky cuff or dry cuff that you will have to, you know, go to the doctor for so, so that it will go away. But in overall, you need to lessen your smoking. Okay. Oh, and you better check out your teeth. Uh, yeah, you 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 are you actually need to go to the dentist, um, to check out your gums and your teeth. Aside from that, um, your immune system will still be you know. Mm, I don't feel like it's gonna be the trail, but still, you need to get more exercise. You need to go. You need to go out more, and you need to have more sun. And if you can just go on a vacation, or take a quick break near the water, much better. Okay. Oh, and ab avoid lamp during this month. Because it will just make you more depressed. Okay, let's take a look at your... Let's take a look at your... Um, singles forecast. Okay, so same goes to singles, okay? That you will somehow feel like you don't really want to deal with, you know? You don't really want to deal with the um, drama. And <clears throat> you will just concentrate in your career, you know? the. Um, yep. You will be more of a fighter, and I feel like... For those who's just newly singles, okay, you will find that you will find it to yourself that you're, you know, stronger than you think, and that you've already had enough of all the dramas that's been going on and spinning for the past few years or past few months, and you're not gonna be facing any more of this, okay. And because of this, you are finally learning your lesson, and you are finally coming out from a, you know, from an old phase of your life. You're, well, there's still more for the next three to four months of transition, but right after this, you will finally be landing on a, on a better life and better relationship path, which is, I feel like there is a possibility that you will be meeting your soulmate or the right one for you this month, sorry, th uh, this year, okay? But aside from that, I feel like you're just ready to walk away and, uh, you know, from the uh, painful past, especially for those singles who's been, like, um, trying to, um, trying to run away from a painful breakup or from, a, even if it's just months ago or, uh, you know, like years ago but right now you're ready to come out of it and you're ready to believe in love again all right i also feel like be careful and watch your back for someone which is an ear sign that is uh, backstabbing you either this is a friend or co-worker all right and i feel like this person has been um spreading some malicious gossips about you and you just need to be a little bit more patient but Pay attention, okay, and observe more. 
because there will be some naysays and uh, you it will take some time for you to really you know nail down who's the person who's been spreading this eventually you will nail down this person around the month of june okay i don't see any love prospect for this month except that there is uh, an earth sign that you will be meeting but it's more likely someone who's just um, wearing a mask okay and then someone who's an air sign more likely a libra but very um you know acting all high and mighty they're so full of themselves so you would just feel like nah you know i can't really see myself dating this person for a long period of time you know he's too pompous so you would just um enjoy your your life and yourself this month alone and without any drama all right i don't feel like this um <coughs> This thing with the earth sign will work out because both of you have your <coughs> a lot of conflicting uh, behaviors and um, it's like you don't have anything in common, okay? The other person as well is too reserved and uh, you feel like they're already um, psychotic enough to always read you and observe you. And they can read you, but then it's also a little bit threatening and uh, kind of invading, okay? You want the person to get to know you in the, in a natural way and not through that. So I feel like you'll just discard this person and you will somehow feel like, no, this is not the kind of person that I really want to be with. And so as the, uh, the Libra that you will be meeting around the end of this month. Okay. So, but when it comes to your job, it seems like... By the end of the month, there is something that you will be starting, okay? More likely to be on your own. Either it's an online business or like a small investment. And your work will become even more busier and you're going to be more in demand. Okay, moving to your month of March. Let's take a look. seems like a month of march for you will be good although somebody from the past will be coming back into your life and uh, hmm. but this one is somebody that you just want to you know discard and you don't want this person back in your life so well there will be you know there will still be some negotiations that's going to happen and i feel like you will think about it but uh, you have to put in mind that this person is a liar. More likely a karmic soulmate. Because I feel like your story just keeps on going over and over and over again. You're going to break up, make up, break up, make up, and break up. All right. Starting all over again. Mm. And it seems like you'll be reconsidering this person back into your life. And, uh, you know, when you, if you really want this person back in your life, then you have to sit down and fix your past issues first because both of you are still ho holding grudges, okay, towards one another. And this is, you know, this, um, this is actually for the Leos out there who's been with a, with an earth sign. Mm. I also feel like this is the only person that also, um, satisfied you, um, sexually. And even though it's, uh, you know... Um, this person's fetish is also very different, although it drives you a little bit more exciting. Um, 
it gives you more excitement and ex you know more ecstasy and uh, so to speak and uh, I feel like you need to hmm you need to add up a little bit more zest and spice you know into your libido I mean there's nothing wrong with your drive of course but uh, it seems like you don't be too comfortable with the you know with the normal style or with the normal habit of doing it anyway month of March somebody from the past will be resurfacing back into your life again and there will be major communication so meaning that this person would just you know spurs out of nowhere and uh, out of the blue and um, more likely that you're going to be seeing each other in person not just through communications there will be a lot of talks and uh, discussions uh, negotiations as well but you have to bear in mind that this person have cheated on you in the past and this person is also very insecure with a lot of things with a lot of people and that they have to fix it themselves first now before accepting this person back into your life make sure that you will make them feel that they should be sh sorry first for whatever they have done to you and for all the pains that they have caused you because if you will just take them and you know forgive them just like that then they will just you know be too comfortable in hurting you again so i feel like you need to think long and hard about if you really you know if you're still love with this if you're still in love with this person then try to think of more strategy on how to make this person you know resent or resent whatever they have done to you in the past at least make them remorse for it and then you will be traveling by the last two weeks of this month of march when it comes to your work or when it comes to your job I feel like you will be feeling a little bit more relaxed and uh, you will be treating yourself to um well i don't feel like you're gonna be working too long or in a, in um in longer hours during this month and um you will have more time for yourself okay and i feel like you will also have more time to review some of the things that you need to hand over the third week of this month but then because of too much um procrastination there will be some delays and there will be some you know it will backfire on you the third week of this month so instead of handing it over let's say for example this third week there will be some delays and your boss will be disappointed because he is he he will be expecting this at the second week but then it's already third week and you're not yet submitting anything so they're going to be very disappointed with how you've been treating your responsibilities and i feel like you're not going to be much in the mood okay it's like you're gonna be swooning all right and love life the person that's gonna be coming back into your life this is an earth sign and you will be like making a balance you'll be thinking a lot more whether this person deserves that space again in your life or whether this person deserves your tears again okay for those who just recently got divorced or separated or broke up from their partners spouses or you know um yeah partners or spouses uh this person is somebody who made you um feel more you know made well all the people that we love made us feel special but this one when it comes to sex it's like you know you feel really more driven and the satisfaction was there okay so I, even though this person cheated on you in the past well you know they've already had their slice of karma and i feel like they already learned their lesson but still whatever that's left in the past you still have to fix that and you still need to lay down all the cards on the table and make sure that you will be starting all over again with much honesty and transparency and no more secrets okay now sex life um i feel like you know well this person is kind of a little bit sadistic and um you don't want anybody else to know first 
about your relationship because first of all you know like what i said for those who just recently broke up or got separated or got divorced you don't want any other words from your family and friends that they're okay you know it's like you're rebounding but the truth is it's not while you were still with you know while you were still with the other person those leos was with the air sign you know it's like you've already moved on because you know the the relationship the feelings are pretty much over and it's like th that person that you used to be with while you are still together you know they've uh, like they've slowly killed you so there's nothing left when they finally walked out of your life and now you're about to face a brand new beginning which is you don't want anybody else to know first and you just want to keep this as a secret and i feel like you will be breaking some rules you know with the usual styles and you're going to be a little bit more wild okay when it comes to sex during this month now some virgos will find uh, sorry some leos will find out that they are pregnant but be very careful with the things that you eat especially if it's not really hygienic you will be craving more for street food okay or food that you can just uh, buy you know like chinese food or something like that buy on the street buy on the sides and um something exotic as well now you also need to concentrate because you're gonna you're gonna have some mental blockage okay and when it comes to health don't take any other um weight loss pills because there will be some you know repercussions when you take them especially if it's not really the tested okay now aside from that you, you just need to take care of your throat or your lungs and then your uh, your nasal okay because there will be some it's like you need to go to the doctor okay better to check it out aside from that you are going to be feeling a little bit more more than okay compared to last month all right let's take a look at your singles forecast Okay, single Leos, you will be moving into a new place or a new company during this month. But then you are also going to be dating somebody that you feel like is a little bit out of your league or much younger than you. Let's say, for example, that an acceptable, an acceptable age for you is two years or three years younger. But in this one, you have at least 12 to 17 years age gap. But, uh, although if you're, you know, in your 20s, of course, it is, this is not applicable for you. But, but if you're in the range of fifth, uh, 40s and 50s, then you will be dating somebody that is very, very, very younger. Okay, sorry, very young. Okay, or this is someone younger than you. But um, I feel like it's only the age because this person is matured and ready for a new relationship. Although it seems like this person is really into people who is um, older than them, much older okay now hmm it's like you will have more you know this is part of transformation that you're currently going through that you will be much more smarter and braver and more a go-getter okay i feel like some single leos will also start thinking about changing their careers their jobs and their life path and some will also be going to the university or school just to you know study something different because they want you know they feel like this is not really the right career for them there's something that you know, that they are still looking for or craving 
Now, there will still be some, you know, some um, legal issues that's still at the top of your head. But then, and you've been thinking, when will this end? You know, when will I have the justice that I need? When will I have, you know, the things that I actually need right now? Um, especially for those who's waiting for the, uh, you know, for the result of an insurance claim. Um, just one more month, okay? And you'll be able to get it. As for the tax, um, I feel like you will get a rebate, but only a very uh, short percentage of it. Aside from that, um, there's also a good news and bad news that you will be receiving. But of course, you know, um, for those who will be resigning from their jobs, um, it seems like you need to be clear, you know. If this is what you really want, and you also need to talk with your HR or with your boss. Now, as for the love, you will be dating somebody that is, uh, let's say, this is a younger water sign. And I feel like you're going to be a little bit ashamed, okay, to display this um, date of yours. Because you're so afraid of what other people will say. Mm. You know, for a man who's with a younger woman, it's okay. But for a woman who's with a younger guy, people always say, Oh, is that your son? Or is that your, you know? So, it's going to be a little bit awkward. But this person is more likely your twin flame. Okay? Or like a mirror of you. Let's take a look at your month of April. month of April for you seems mm -hmm, very good mm. career wise it also looks so good oh I feel like you're gonna be uh, going through uh, some trainings or seminars or exercises be traveling a lot this year hmm well your love life it's not really as bad as it seems but hmm. I feel like you will just get caught up with the you know with the past and you will be so afraid to love again, give yourself in a relationship or commit. And this is what's going to be the reason why your relationship is not really going to reach its um, full potential. It's like right before it starts, you want to kill it off or you want to end it. Okay, now, 
month of April for you, you will be thinking more about your career growth or your personal growth. And it seems like you want to, it's like you want to, um, you know, um, it's like you want to, uh, what do you call this? It's a, uh, someone know to that they, that you are better off without them. Okay. You also want to prove to your family and to your friends that you are not really affected by whatever it is, you know, that's been going through in your, in your life and that you're currently going through. Now, you will be um, directed by your gut instinct as to the path that you really need to fulfill. But there's uh, someone who's an air sign, woman, okay, who will be tricking you into making a bad decision, but then you will be pulling yourself out of that because you will somehow feel like, hmm, you know, like something is wrong, you know, like I don't really trust this woman. Why am I following her? So he will be like um, canceling or whatever it is that you need to do with this uh, air sign woman. And by the way, be careful with the air signs this year uh, for you, Leo. Okay, I'm not saying in general. And, um, you will be traveling again. Huh. Some Leos will be traveling to receive an award. And some will be to um, sign a contract or to seal the deal or to close an agreement. Oh, and there's also, you know, for uh, Leos who's actually in sales or business, there is an actual big sales or big contract that you're going to be making and this will give you a lot more financial stability but be very but be very careful okay because this is also not the time for you to splurge all right so now when it comes to your work life or when it comes to your professional life hmm, you're going to be the winner because it seems like for the first week of this month of april there is going to be a reason for you to celebrate and i feel like you're going to be taking a short break like a three-day holiday or something like that it's part of your incentives and um you will be very happy and more busier around the third week of this month but then there will be some some personal stuff that will still be hitting you and that will be making you a little bit more depressed but then you will try to you know like i don't want to be sad anymore i don't want to be depressed about this anymore i just want to concentrate in my career and my job because my finances are finally you know moving up all right so you don't want to feel the pain anymore but it's also not healthy not for you to confront your pain Okay, if you will try to forget about that and not really dwell on it, you can, you know, if you want to, but then someday it will still be hitting you and someday you'll still have to cry it off. All right. But in overall, your finances will still be doing good and you will also be starting a new project or right before the other project ends, you're starting a new one or you want to present a new one, which will even more um, uh, in it's like a, you'll be more entitled for another promotion or for another uh, leadership position. Now, please take note that not all people around you will be very happy with the contributions and progresses that you will be making. Okay. Now, love life. Even though that you're trying to move on and you're trying to open up your heart to new possibilities and new potentials. Okay. There are still some nights and some days that you will remember how it was, you know, those nights that you have cried off and those nights that you were so hurt and realizing everything that that your ex had done to you. So with a new relationship, with the new relationship that you're in right now or with a new commitment that is being offered to you because of this past and because of this pattern that's been going on in your life, you have the tendency to pull to push it away. Okay, but the good thing here is the person who's going to be with you during at this point or during this month will be more determined and will be more, what do you call this, more um, aggressive. It's like even if you try to say that, okay, I'm not the right one for you, go and find someone, you know, someone that's your type or someone who can give you their all or their, their, their themselves to you or their commitment 100%. I am not that kind of person. Even if you say that to the person who's been um, wooing you right now, they're not going to go. They're, and they're not going to believe you. In fact, that they're going to be more eager, you know, to make you theirs. 
challenge and it's um it's pretty much um uh, ple uh, flattering you know but what happens when this excitement and thrill and challenge is done and over right that's uh, you know that's another question so what's going to happen next of course that those um persuasion and you know and wooing and everything else in bravado it's not really going to last either they're going to get tired of it or they're going to look for another um challenge okay i'm not saying that this relationship is not really promising but what i'm trying to say is you need to prepare yourself for that and don't think that just because this person is trying to woo you right now it will always be like that you have to be more prepared for the worst and for whatever that's going to come your way because love is always like that it's not always good it's not always blossoming and it's not always filled with heart balloons okay now when it comes to your sex life you want more I feel like you're going to be a little bit more aggressive that even though you're trying to fight your, you know, your feelings, the, the urgency as well, you, you know, your needs. It's like you will be breaking that and um, it seems like you will be giving in to somebody that you are slowly having feelings or that you are slowly falling for. Okay, now... I also feel like you're going to be a little bit experimental, okay? and hmm, you're gonna feel more familiar and more comfortable with this new person that's gonna be pleasing you now when it comes to your health again be careful with your throat with your nose and with your um it's like more about your breathing problems and be, make sure that you will be um eating some healthy seafood or shell food okay and uh, ulcers, chest pain. Um, you know, that's it's like you'll be feeling some heaviness in your chest. And uh, you're going to have some problems sleeping. And migraines. Plus hair losses. And um, aside from that. You also need to learn how to be a little bit more generous when it comes to your, you know, when it comes to other people who need it more. And don't waste food. It's like, um, you keep on buying food from the outside and then when you, you know, when you no longer want it, or when you no longer, you know, want something that's cold, you're going to buy another one until that, you know, the, the leftovers will be piling inside your fridge so at this point you need to be a little bit more generous and be careful with parasites i feel like you're still going to be craving for some street food during this month and aside from that your immune system will slowly get better and uh, you will be pulling out from your um well cold days as well you know it's like you're gonna be having some colds and flu and fever sli slight fever and cough and don't try to mix your own medicine make sure that you're going to be visiting a doctor just to make you safe and just to give you the right prescription now let's take a look singles Actually, the first, you know, the uh, the forecast or the reading, it already applies for singles, okay? But let's take a look more if there will be any other messages for you. It seems like you're going to have a very good beginning. It's just that you will, you're the one who will have some problems or you're the one who will have some issues, Okay? 
you just need to be you just need to be a little bit more outspoken and say whatever that's inside your mind inside your heart and uh, you have to learn how to communicate yeah, things are actually going to be more stable and uh, somebody from the past will also be ringing you or sending you a message but it's much better for you to you know discard this as this person is just going to keep on doing things over and over and over again and this is the air sign meanwhile for the earth sign you will be making a lot more progress and it seems like even though you're not yet ready to give yourself to this person there will be a lot more developments and there will be a lot more wooing and it will make you smile and uh, even though you're actually you know working people will just see you smiling out of nowhere and we'll also notice that you are you know blossoming or blooming okay No. Hmm. Oh, finally, the the legal thing that you are, you know, the legal um, decision that you've been waiting for. It seems like it is going to be coming this month. All right, and it seems like there will also be another reason for you to celebrate. Work-wise, it's still going to be stable, and I don't see any much problems. Except that someone will be acting a little bit bitchy towards you, which is a fire sign. Another fire sign. Someone who's older than you, short-haired, a little bit curly, and looks snooty. And that person's nose looks like a shoe. So, you're gonna know who it is. Alright. Let's take a look at your month of May. You will have an argument with somebody from the past that even though you're already trying to move on and trying to have a quiet life, this person is going to be so bitter and will be stalking you as well. So be very careful and make sure that you will be locking your doors and securing your car because I feel like this person is going to be spinning out of control. Okay, there will also be some issues about addiction and uh, alcoholism. Not you. I mean, this person that you're going to be dealing with. Um, I feel like this person has some problems with the, their vices and their attitudes and their behaviors. That they really needed some uh, professional help. Now, some other Leos will also be dealing with the... Um, uh, okay, for those who still with their um, with their spouses, but still, but currently dealing with the um, with the uh, affair. All right, you will be attacked or you will be confronted by your spouse's um, other lover. Okay, whether it's a man or a woman, and. I feel like it will just, you know, the drama will just get even more heavier this month. But then you're not going to give up. You know, some Leos. And some Leos who's trying to move on and, you know, with a new relationship. With someone who's going to be cherishing them more. Expect that someone will be acting a little bit more bitter. Actually, not little. They're going to be very bitter towards you moving on and seeing you happier.
No, well, month of May for you looks a little bit, mm, a little bit tricky, but or rattling. Now you will be dealing with a very, um, what do you call this? Um, well, it's a uh, well, yeah. Um, this water sign woman have some attitude problems. And uh, it seems like they really want to get what they want, even if it means, you know, stepping on someone else's toe or uh, running over somebody. And I feel like you will have to deal with some children's issues as well, especially at school. And there will be some more likely issues with uh, female um, offsprings, okay? Now... Some Leos who's still with their spouses, you will be dealing with the, uh, you know, with the other of your spouse. And it seems like it will be more of a public confrontation. There, I don't see any altercations, but it's going to be more of a very, you know, catty um, conversation. And I don't feel like this person will be coming across you again. Right after you putting you where they should be placing or standing, but there will also be some confrontations that's going to happen within your domestic life or within your domestic uh, area, which is with your spouse. And some Leos who's already moving on with another relationship or with someone else, it seems like someone will be stalking you or someone will try to ruin your life or with your new foundation or new beginnings and expect that this person will be a little bit more, you know, they're going to be going a little bit overboard with their so-called revenge, okay? So be very careful about it. Now, when it comes to your work life, there will be more communications and researching. And I feel like you will be spending a lot more time alone here because you really want to uh, put your best into presenting this big project of yours. And I feel like it has something to do with a project that you wanted to do or an idea that you've been trying to brew for the past two to three years or two to three months already. And you will be asking for the help of some of your old colleagues or professors or you know some people that you know that can help you with this and there will be well i don't feel like you're ready to launch or you're ready to present it this month but you will be moving up with the research that you're doing aside from that more meetings and more demands from your boss but you will be able to meet it and you'll be able to deliver whatever they want you to deliver all right it's just that Expect that there are two people who will be starting a um, gossip or fight with you and they're going to try to provoke you. So you need to be more patient and don't get involved with any other fight, whether it's physical or verbal. Now, uh, when it comes to your love life... It seems like everything seems so normal until that something around two... Uh, second and third week of this month you know it's like right in between second and third week of this month there will be a lot of dramas that's going to happen in 10 consecutive days 10 to 14 consecutive days and with this it's like your whole world will be turning upside down and there will be a lot more things that you feel like you know it only happens in tv but now all of a sudden this is really happening right in front of you and you know in your life so you will be successful and you don't have to worry that because you're going to be the winner you're still going to be standing on top of it but then you know it's well it's going to be um more of an experience that um it's also to measure how know you know how strong you will be and how strong you are now when it comes to your sex life you're going to be playing a little bit hard to get so that you will entice more excitement into your life or into your relationship. And I feel like you are the one who's going to be more aggressive. You know, like initiating the moves, initiating things with your partner or, or whoever it is that you're with right now. And I feel like it's your partner who will be giving up with your extreme energy. Okay. So right after the fight, there will be some... You know, some wild makeups. And um, I feel like it's your partner who will say time out. 
okay you're gonna have extra energy and um more and for some reason you know for those who speaking of the baby you know for those who really wants to have a baby or who wants to have an another child or who wants to have a child this is going to be a very good month for you to be you know to plan for it or to have it now when it comes to your health there is a food lifestyle or eating habits that you need to turn your back to and uh, you need to leave it all behind now you also need to concentrate into your well into your losing weight but then the problem here is you're gonna find out some leos okay some leos will find out that they are pregnant during this month so as much as you want to lose weight there will be more weight that you will be gaining for the next six months okay and i feel like you will have more it's like your head feels so heavy and then you'll be feeling a little bit more lethargic you always want to sleep and it's like you can't really think of anything you're going to have some mental blockage or you're going to have some mental block that's why you and you're also feeling a little bit burned out when it comes to your work aside from that just make sure that you're going to be washing the food that you're going to be eating okay don't just cook it directly from the fridge and because there will be some bacteria or there is a tendency that you might have an amoeba okay or um diarrhea now um you will also be very conscious or feeling conscious about how you look like your appearance and your immune system and you better check out your you know uh, your eye sensitivity because um some leas will have some pink eye or some leas will also have some um like an irritation okay to their eyes especially if you're using um contacts all right let's take a look singles what's going to be coming your way this month of may All right now singles you're gonna be feeling a little bit cut off and dry and uh you know for those who's actually in sales you're gonna be playing it a little bit dirty okay when it comes to uh signing the deal or getting the uh, the contract done you will be using some some tactics just to get it done and i feel like uh, there will be a brand new beginning or there will be some contracts that you've been you know trying to get for how many weeks or months already and finally you're already getting tired of it so you're going to be using a different you know thing or strategy and finally you will be sealing it this month but expect that there will be two people who's not going to be very pleased with your you know with your plans or with your tactic because it seems like you're going to be um you're going to have to bypass some people just to get it done now aside from that when it comes to your love life it seems like you know this person that you're dating right now or that uh, you know um when it comes to dating prospects it seems like you will finally see somebody who is a little bit more consistent and somebody who can be more serious but you have you still have to get to know each other okay don't judge easily don't judge someone easily now 
Aside from that, you will be worrying needlessly about a lot of things in your life and I feel like you also need to see your mother or somebody who is already a mother figure or, um, you know, like an older female family member because um, I feel like they are, you know, they need your attention and they'll be needing you by their side because of the health, sorry, because of the health problems that they are currently fighting and going through. Aside from that, financially, it's going to be a little bit average this this month. And you need to be a little bit more conservative with the things that you don't really need. So don't really go shopping without, you know, any other reason, you know. Because sometimes you shop with just because you're bored. Now, this month, if you wanted to shop or if you want to buy a few things, make sure that you really need it. Not because that you're bored, okay? So, and uh, don't buy any jewelry this month. It's not really advisable. Oh, and makeup. If you are, you know, if um, if there is already a brand that you're already used to and already comfortable, don't jump into any other brand just because that you feel like, oh, okay, you know, I like the shade of lipstick or I like that uh, foundation or that thing. Um, because um, there is a possibility that you might have some skin irritations or allergies. Okay, especially if it has a, uh, like an ingredient sorry that like like uh, an ingredient that will come from fish okay let's take a look at your month of june It seems like Leo, you know, your people from the past will be raining on your path. And this air sign is not yet gonna stop, okay, from whatever it is that they really want from you. So for those who's trying to move on, you know, from an air sign, expect that there will still be more dramas and problems. And there is a possibility of getting the police involved with the situation. All right. You will you will also be uh, you know uh get close to your boss during this month of June. And I feel like huh Someone is developing admiration towards you when it comes to your workplace. It's like you will notice that every time they uh, send you an email, at, at first it's more likely a business as usual. But then you will start noticing that something's a little bit off or something is... You know, seems very flirtatious. It's a kind of a flattering, but I don't feel like you want to get involved with this person since that, in the first place, they're already married. And they're only looking for a side entertainment. Okay. Hmm. You know, when you're starting to become more happier and you're starting to, you know, to move on from the storm that you have gone out from, 
this air sign will be appearing in your life out of the blue and uh, they're gonna be blaming you for all the because uh, I feel like this air sign will be uh, losing their job or losing their business okay and or they're gonna get involved in some gambling and I feel like they're gonna be losing a lot so they will be appearing in your life or in your path all that's always intoxicated and they you know they're going to be so bitter they're going to be saying a lot of things to you that is a little bit too far off you know instead of them blaming themselves they're going to be putting it out on you now someone who's a water sign will also be acting a little bit snooty and uh, bitchy towards you and this is related to your work but I feel like, you know, this person is only trying to provoke you so that you will be losing the promotion that you're currently targeting. So just try to ignore it as much as you can. Okay, it's not really worth your reputation. Um, there is also some legal issues that's been long pending. And finally, you will be called for another session or there is a uh, like a decision that will be coming down this month. Let's take a look if it's going to be favorable. I feel like you're going to be reappealing because you're not going to be very happy with the decision anyway now when it comes to your um when it comes to your um workplace you're gonna be um mm -hmm, brushing shoulders with some key people and i feel like you're boss or someone that is higher than you or somebody that you're reporting to will be introducing you to much more higher people and they're going to be appreciating you there is an exclusive meeting or exclusive dinner that you have to face them and they would want to hear your inputs about a situation or project or problem you know and they want to hear if you have a solution to that problem which is it's going to be more of a test for you now please take note that you're going to be facing key people or the investors of your company or your business okay and aside from that you'll be getting the right results and you'll be very pleased okay with how things are going and if last year your um your finances or your work life has been very what do you call this very um uh, below average you know especially for those who's born in the year of the dragon then this year it's going to be more sound and much better they're going to be praising you you know for the presentation and for the input that you're going to be um saying which is you're not really expecting them you're not really expecting them to be pleased or to applause you but they, you know they they will so I feel like um, releasing yourself from this toxic situation in the past is, you know, it is actually what you really need. And it's, you know, it is much of a healthier way of living because <laughs> no more heartbreaks and no more, you know, depressions before when you when you'll go home from work and uh, all you see is that mess and uh, somebody who's just um, staring in front of the television where while the, your children are in, you know all over the place it's like you're the one who's, who still need to do everything but now everything is more organized anyway when it comes to your love life you will know how to balance and you will actually learn how to manage and cope up with people who's uh, who's been lying or who will be lying right in front of you and you will know how to like um you know not react too much in a situation or be emotional about it even though there are still some things from the past that's still like imprisoning you you will try to free yourself one by one you know stage by stage until you will be fully ready and until that you will be more stronger now when it comes to your sex life it seems like your partner cannot really match your energy okay um it seems like you're gonna be getting a little bit bored 
and uh, there are also times that when you really want it your partner will say no or they're going to be making some excuses and i feel like you're also going to be a little bit more aggressive and wild and very much into it okay so um well aside from the fact that your partner will get a little bit um worn out and they're gonna be coming home from work tired um it's like you wanted to do it all night long okay so there are times that you're going to be feeling a little bit uh, irritated, you know, because your partner is um, not really excited, you know, to do it. I mean, you know, when people are actually tired coming home from work, of course, you have to understand that they cannot really do it all night long. Okay. And for some reason, your libido and your hormones will be, you know, outrageous. And um, it's like you need to control it a little bit. All right. Now, when it comes to your health, uh, you will notice that during this month, you're going to be having a lot of nightmares or you're going to be waking up with much sweat and um, tears in your eyes. Okay. And I feel like it's because of the stress that you're currently going through. And be careful with... It's not actually the food, but you m make sure that you will be sterilizing most of your kitchen stuff, especially the, uh, you know, the um, utensils and the, uh, the glass and the plates and everything else. Because I feel like your w the water that you're using is actually contaminated. Make sure that you will get it maintained or make sure that you will get it checked because it's not just you who's going to get affected or will get sick it's mostly with the people that lives in your house okay now aside from that as i've said be very careful with the cosmetics that you're going to be using because you're going to be developing some allergies or rashes immune system will continuously get stronger your eyes that you have to check and bit of a depression you know for some leos because uh, there are some things that you cannot really get in your life or with your spouse or in, in your marriage and uh, some leos will still have to do the natural way or natural method of losing weight especially um cutting off the carbs and junk food okay and mcdonald's is actually part of uh, you know the fast food uh, stuff it's not really a healthy thing to eat and Huh. Be very careful with an ulcer or I'm not saying that you should skip meals, but um, just try to trim it down a little bit and uh, be careful with um, ulcer and UTI. Okay. Nasal problems, you'll be um, sneezing frequently and there is a food lifestyle that you need to turn your back on. It's time for you to um lessen your too much intake of salty food let's take a look singles Your boss will be talking to you or you'll be or you will be called out by your boss to his office and it seems like there are some things that you need to improve when it comes to your performance which is this you know you will get scared that you might lose your job but i feel like it's not it's just that you need to put more dedication and focus and effort 
because there are also some other things that you will be going through okay especially if you have a child and you're kind of looking for some justice or some for some child support that hasn't been happening for how many months already aside from that you don't really have to worry because you're not going to be losing your job but instead your boss is also getting a little bit worried because you're not like this before it seems like you know he knows you and he knows you very well that the reason why you're going through this is because there are some personal stuff that is kind of getting in the way or distracting you but let me pull out some more clarifications now you're gonna make it through and i feel like your boss will be a little you know will be more understanding supportive and it seems like you know uh, instead of uh, having some tight deadlines he's gonna be giving you more time to finish it off but then you have to pull yourself back okay when it comes to your love life you're not gonna be so focused on whoever you're dating with right now in fact that you're going to be hibernating and you don't want to see anyone else except for the third week and fourth week of this month that you're going to be more outgoing and uh, you'll be feeling a little bit more relieved because your problems will be resolved okay finances will still be average and don't forget to be on time you know to pay off your bills otherwise because I feel like because of the depression that you're going through, there are some bills that you might have to miss. All right? So be mindful of your financial responsibilities. And don't max out your credit card. All right? Let's take a look at your month of July. Now, moving on to your month of July, let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Looks like the month of July for you will be not so favorable in terms of your heart affair. Um, it seems like you need to be very careful with your choices this month of July, okay? Because your romantic life will be a little bit upside down. Breaking the habits. Mm -mm
All right. Huh. Okay, for those Leos who is actually thinking of traveling this first week of the month, um, expect that there will be some canceled flights or delays or some lost baggages that will be happening to you. And for those who's planning to go on a holiday or to take a quick break from work, it seems like if you are reporting for a um, air sign woman, then expect that she's not going to allow you. Okay, so there will be some um, some disappointments that's going to be coming to you. Now, somebody from the past will be re-emerging, and it seems like whatever it is, that's still, you know, some legal stuff that you're still taking care of, you will be initiating it again, okay, this middle of the month. Now, third week, you will be traveling, and I feel like this air sign will still be, you know, this guy will still try and, or this person will still try and get a hold of you, try to talk to you and still try to make its presence very active. But then, you know what? You actually know how to deal with this guy or this person. It's just that I feel like you just don't want to do it. All you'll do is just avoid it. But then, um, I feel like you're still going to be, you know, you're still going to struggle. You can run away, but you cannot escape. So I feel like once and for all, you need to deal with some legal stuff. Like restraining order. Okay? It's time for you to put your foot down. Now, when it comes to your work, there will be some realizations that will be dawning on you. And it seems like you're feeling a little bit discontented and feeling a little bit overwhelmed with all the pressures, demands, and stress that's coming from your work. Yes, everything is going smooth and okay and you're you know you're about to get promoted but somehow you feel like you know it, it's like your your life is just evolving around this um around this work of yours and the good news here is even though you're feeling a little bit discontented disconcerted and disconnected you will be able to buy that house that you really want or to get that house or lease okay at least that you're going to have enough financial backup to start on your own and not really live with your um, with your parents or with your siblings or something like that or to a family member. Now, when it comes to your romantic life, there will be a lot of struggles that you will have to go through, but you need some balancing. Somebody will be coming to you along with a bag of opportunities. So it's up to you if you really want to grab this. Because there is an old client who will be coming to you and will be offering you a job, associate, or partnership. And as much as you really want to have this kind of opportunity, you know to yourself that you're not yet ready. And that you're going to be very afraid of the responsibilities. Rather than, you know, of course, the pay is uh, going to be very attractive. And um, you feel like emotionally and physically and everything else, you're not yet ready for this. Now, um, aside from that, I feel like if you've been trying to fight or to... Um, there are some legal stuff that you are doing or fighting sorry fighting or battling that is related to a child or children it seems like you need to fight more as there will be some disappointments and heartbreak that's going to be coming to you not to mention that for the last week of the month um you have to face some series of unfor series of unfortunate events Okay, this is something that you just need to pay attention to, be prepared for. Instead of getting scared and negative, I feel like it's much better for you to open up your mind that there are some things in life that you will be facing storms, okay, or times like this. Now, when it comes to your sex life, um, the person that you will be seeing with or the person that you're currently seeing during this month is somebody that is also available for someone else, okay? Especially if you are seeing someone who's in air, fire, or water, another water. Now, um, I also feel like, 
There will be more. Mm-mm-mm. Uh, there will be more actions and more. I can't say it's an it's a sexual addiction, but it's more of. Let's just say that your hormones are really, you know, feeling all over the place, and it's like you want to have sex all the time. But of course, it's only with one person, not with the you know all people. But your partner is actually the problem. Your partner wants to be wants a more challenge, because for you, it's like you're giving it all but with your partner it's like you know they want to play more games they want more long foreplay but with you it's like ah you know let's just take the shortcut let's do it so uh there will be some minor disagreements and uh, some minor conflicts but it will get resolved by the end of the month now when it comes to your health um i'm not gonna see any major problems in fact that you're gonna be nourished and um, you also need to avoid eating too much sweets and junk food and self-prescription. Also check your eyesight, you know, both. Um, also ask your doctor if it's possible for you to get tested for diabetes. And um, aside from that, you will only be a little bit more vain, okay? And I feel like you will have some... Well, you're going to be a little bit uh, conscious, okay, about your private parts and uh, buying some creams and stuff like that, you know, just to enhance it or just to beautify it or whatever it is that you wanted to do. But you're going to be very concerned about your private parts, okay? Now, let's take a look at your singles forecast. Now, singles, uh, it seems like your work will be at the edge during this month and you need to concentrate more. Now, be very careful with car accidents or if there is some insurance claim that is related to a previous car accident. It seems like you will be getting the decision right now, but it's not going to be in full favor of you. It will be half. Okay, so you better be ready for this. Now... You are also having some second thoughts for those Leos who is thinking of changing their career into the air industry. There will be an offer that will be given to you, but you're going to be having some second thoughts and you'll be thinking about a lot of things. So you're kind of, you know, like um, overanalyzing the situation and even the offer. Now, you know, for you, um, for you, what's best is just use your gut instinct. If you feel like you should go for it, go for it. If you feel like you shouldn't do it, then don't do it. Okay? Because... You are going to be stressing yourself out for more unnecessary thinking and worrying, okay? And focus on your job, focus on your performance because you're already at the edge. Now, when it comes to your love life, I feel like things will become even more stable, but, you're won't, but you won't be able to see this person for how many weeks, okay? The one that you're currently seeing with right now. And for those who's looking for some prospects, you will be meeting somebody that is already a single parent, but it will be by the end of the month. All right. Now let's take a look at your August forecast.
Okay. Mm hmm Someone at work is actually fantasizing about you, and, uh, uh, be careful with some sexual harassment, okay? Or someone will be acting a little bit perverted towards you. Alright, month of August for you, things will be a little bit more settled, except that there will still be some legal battles that you will have to face and uh, fixed. Um, financially, it seems like you're going to have more success, more help, more support, and it seems like if you're thinking about going away for a little while, um, better think twice about it because I don't feel like you're going to get a permission to do that. Now, some of your older or senior colleagues will be more of a pain in the ass for you this month because they're going to be acting a little bit more difficult and will also be ganging up against you. Someone is also feeling a little bit threatened about your, your presence for getting their position because it seems like the management is kind of, you know, not really attacking, but they're more of Albany in the hot seat. And they are being um, scrutinized for their poor performance. And while they are being scrutinized for that, they, the, the management is kind of praising you. So they're under the impression that the management want you to replace that person, whoever it is. Okay. Now, you will have some... It's like you won't have an idea why these people are acting like this towards you. But anyway, when it comes to your uh, love life, this person, especially for Leos who's with an earth sign, okay, it seems like this person will try and woo you and will also be giving you some lavish gifts or will be a little bit extra generous this month. However, when it comes to your legal battles or if there is something that you're, that you're kind of waiting, like bank, loans, government, documents, permits, and everything else, expect that there will be some delays, okay, or it won't be in your favor. Now, work. Wise, um, mm, mm, mm. like what I said, that there will be some gossips and backstabbing that's going to be happening while you're trying to mind your own life and while you're trying to do your best to, you know, uh, fulfill your duties and obligations. Uh, they expect that there will be some people who will try to sabotage you and will be acting. It's like they're going to be bullying you. Okay. So expect that this is going to be happening around third, no, first and second. And, huh. I feel like you need to take a, a little break or be, you know, just 
might as well just be away from this group because actually you know they're a group of three that's going to be um ruining your entire month and most of the time you'll feel a little bit alone and well you're going to be okay and well supported well provided it's just that you need to be a little bit more stronger okay imagine yourself being in a kindergarten school and uh, there are some bullies you know who wants to take your candy so, so this is how your life is going to be around your work um the work stuff it's still going to be loaded you know the usual business and schedule meetings i don't see any travel this month Except that, you know, the, the most highlight of the, the month for your work life is this Three Stooges. That's going to be bullying you. Now, when it comes to your love life, well, you're going to be making a decision about this liar. And especially if you're going through some child support or some legal battles or divorce or something like that. Um, expect that this person that you are up against with is going to be forming some dramas and lies against you. As much as you want to walk away from this and you just want it to end, it's not going to be ending that easily or that way. As I feel like this person still wants you to suffer and wants to see you crawl down and beg for their forgiveness. Okay, You will be traveling within the next... Actually, no, you're going to be traveling on the third week of this month. And, uh, oh, you will have enough money for, you know, for your trip. And, uh, I feel like you will try and look back into your life, whatever happened. You know, how did you end up there and how did things wind it up to wherever you are right now? All right. Or wherever you will be at that point. And I feel like somebody from the past will be re-emerging and will be helping you or will be supporting you with your ordeals. I also feel like a cousin that is that you haven't seen for a long period of time is also coming to see you. And it will also be more of a big help for you. Now, when it comes to your sex life, it seems like you are going to be a little bit experimental still. And... Uh, Wow, you're going to have a very active sex life and you're going to be a little bit obsessed with oral. Okay. Um, a little bit wild on the side, but then also be careful that someone is trying to harass you or will try to sexually harass you or will be acting a little bit perverted around you or will be sending you some, you know, indecent proposals. Okay, now, when it comes to your health, be very careful with some contagious diseases, airborne diseases, or when somebody just uh, sneezes right in front of you, and uh, most likely, you will be getting whatever they have, especially the cold, fever, and flu. And be careful with your pets and, uh, you know, with, with your pets and their fleeces and the uh, you also need to make them a little bit more clean and hygienic and also check their ears because they might be suffering from an ear infection and you will have some problems sleeping or you will be feeling a little bit down and lethargic high blood pressure and hmm, high blood pressure and gaining some weight and you will also be feeling a little bit nauseous aside from that try to go for a white diet meat and don't self-medicate, okay? Especially if you've been having some problems peeing right now because of your kidney. Let's take a look, singles. What's going to be coming your way this month of August for you before we proceed to your month of September?
All right. Now, singles. It looks like you've already had enough of the people who's been lying right in front of you. And if you're also consulting a lawyer, it's more likely that you're going to be changing your counsel, okay? Or you're uh, the one that you're the one who is legally advising you at this point. And you will be it seems like you'll be consulting some of your friends, but so, some will be helping you and some are not. And then you're still Okay, now for Leos, I know that this is for single, okay, for singles. But for those Leos who is who was previously involved in an affair or a part of the affair, it seems like that person is still going to be coming back into your life to, you know, to harpoon you again. You need to put your foot down because you know that, that you know, this kind of relationship is not really going anywhere. It will just make you stuck, well, make you feel stuck and stagnant. Okay, um, some Leos also need to help themselves to, you know, to um, prevent the uh, growing addiction. Let's say, for example, alcoholism or addiction to a substance or gambling or vice or something like that. Okay, but there is a dependency that you are doing right now and it's not really healthy. But that is the reason why your, you know, your work is very much affected this month for, you know, I mean, your productivity is very much affected. And it seems like people are also starting to notice that you're starting to get even more weird, right? You're acting weird, okay? Now, if you're not the kind of Leo... Who is not drinking or whatever stuff it is, okay? Then this is not for you, okay? This is a general reading. And it's up to you if this will be resonating with you or not. All right, let's take a look at your September forecast. Wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your money looks very good during this month. I also feel like there will be some company outing or some company training or team building or something like that that you're going to be participating or going. But it seems like you're going to be under a lot of skepticism, you know. 
it's like there will be organizing an event or there's like an event that you are going to be participating and people or your co-workers especially the three who's going to be bullying you will be um discouraging you well you know it happens but i feel like um you're gonna make up for it okay just don't trust the wrong people that is the reason why i can see things are gonna get haywired all right now It seems like there will be a talk with an older fire sign, which is more likely, I feel like this is a father figure, or this is somebody that is older than you, but a relative, okay? There will be some financial, ha sorry, financial help or financial aid that you're going to be receiving, but uh, and you're going to be very thankful for that, because right now you really need all kinds of support because of the legal battle that you're going to be going through. And I feel like, you know, fortunately this month, I don't see any legal proceedings or court sessions or whatsoever. So hopefully by this month, you'll be able to resolve whatever it is that you're going through. Okay. Now, your friends will also be helping you. And... This air sign still is going to try and going to be present in your life. So it's like a never-ending agony for this air sign this entire year. Okay, now the, there is also a water sign who will be um, acting like your friend or will be offering his help. Which is at first you're going to be very pleased. I feel like this is a relative. I feel like you're going to be very pleased, but then there will be something in return. And... I feel like um, with the, uh, it's like there's a favor that this person will be asking from you. And there's also a secret that this person wants you to keep, okay? So they will be entrusting you with their secret and better keep it tight. Now, well, there will be another correspondence, okay, that is uh, regarding some legal stuff that you're currently um, making or doing or taking care of. And I feel like you just wanted to take some rest, okay? You will be letting this one month to pass by and then that's the only time that you'll resume uh, confronting and resolving this problem. Now, when it comes to your workplace, it seems like you will be tasked to organize an event for your entire company. And even though you know that you're not yet ready and you're not yet in the right state of mind, okay, you will try to do your best. But then things will get a little bit haywire and it's not because that you're not good, but somebody will be sabotaging it so that everyone will get mad at you or upset with you. But it will get fixed. At the third week of the month because somebody will see what really happened so your name will be you know will be cleaned or it's like you'll be able to pull up your reputation and your boss won't really be that upset with you but next time don't trust the wrong people okay so that this won't happen now when it comes to your love life okay financially you're gonna be doing well and okay because you're gonna be getting help financial help from different types of people and there are also some people who will be paying you back for the money that they owe you you're gonna be acting a little bit cold and dry and distant and cut off and mean and cruel and even though you're not feeling well or you most of the time you will have some high blood pressure feeling a little bit nauseous and not really in the mood you will try to do your best to you know, to complete your obligation or perform your responsibilities to your children or to your family. And I feel like even though there is another sad news or heartbreak or frustration that will be coming to you in terms of your relationship, then you will be ready for that, okay? It's like you're already getting used to these kind of problems and you just know what to do and you don't really have to, you know, it doesn't really have to rattle you. And, well, the communications, I feel like it has something to do with your, with your child, okay? 
So that is another thing that you have to deal with in the month of October. Now, you know, someone will try to corner you and someone will also try to offer you um, something that is indecent. And I feel like you're not going to be accepting this. This person is much older than you. And I feel like mm, this person is not really looking for any sort of a real relationship, but more likely a pastime or they they just feel challenged, you know, with your presence. But unfortunately, this person is just, you know, just enough to... <laughs> uh, let's just put it this way. They are too old to perform, okay? And... Um, Some Leos, I feel like they won't have a choice. But some Leos, they're going to be really feisty to the extent that they, they will be threatening this person that they will be resigning if they are going to be persisting or they're going to be forcing you. Okay? Or if you're if they're going to be forcing you to do something that you don't really want. And aside from that... Hmm... <laughs> I feel like you're going to be addicted to oral sex during this month. And it's going to be like a one-way thing. It's not you who's going to be giving it. It's you who's going to be receiving it. Anyway, when it comes to your health, be careful with some kidney stones, okay? It's much better for you to go and check out with the doctor, of course. And eat some healthy food and vegetables. Lower your intake of carbohydrates. And again, check out your eyesight. Okay? Because I feel like you're still going to be having some problems with your eyes. And high blood pressure and uh, chest pain. Um, mm -hmm. Chest pain. And it seems like your um, lower calf or your... Hind leg will be swollen for some reason. And lower back pain. Now, you will also have some skin allergies because of the things that, you're be, that you will be experimenting or it could be that you'll be exposed to a very toxic substance or chemical. And aside from that, you need to repair your clothes or you need to... It's like you're going to be feeling a little bit bored, you know, with the same thing that you've been wearing over and over again. And... I feel like you need to have some more sleep, plus your immune system, okay? You need to boost it, and I feel like chest pain will be very frequent during this month, so be very careful about it, and nausea, okay? Both at the same time. All right, let's take a look at your month of, oh no. Actually, we still have to look at your singles forecast for September. And then we'll be checking out your October. All right, now, uh huh, things will be a little bit difficult for you this month, singles, and I feel like you're gonna have some drinking problems. There is a fire sign that is kind of um, contacting you or that you met recently. But you're having some second thoughts about seeing this person. As you, you know, you can feel the vibe 
in their presence that they are not, you know, really what they claim to be. You will also be traveling just to get away for a little while because of the difficulties that you're currently going through. But you don't really have to worry because by the end of the month, you will, you know, all of your problems that you're kind that you're dealing with right now, this month of um, September, uh, you will be receiving the help that you need. Okay. I just feel like your health will not be doing good during this month or by the end of the month. So just be very careful about it. And... I feel like you need to control your vice or to control something that you know that is not really healthy for you to do. Okay? For those who's also going through some medical or... Um, yeah, some medical examinations, then I feel like there will be some sad news that you'll be receiving. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at your month of October. Wow. Wow, three very good cards. All right, let's take a look at your month of October, which it really seems so good. Hmm. Now, there are actually some things from the past, okay? Situations, people, relationship, memories, or even opportunities, you know, that will be resurfacing the first week of this October. And there will be success that will be flying you through the heights of glory. And... This is something that you've been expecting, waiting for a long period of time. And now that it's finally here, you can now really celebrate. And it has something to do with your job. 
and there's also a water sign that will be coming into your life now even though you've been going through a lot of storms and hurdles when it comes to your personal life your work life will be balancing everything that you've been going through is, is a disappointment and frustration now when it comes to your work mm -hmm. oh well despite of the success that you're going to be um achieving I feel like you're going to be in the roster of um, employee of the month or there will be a reward or recognition that you will be uh, receiving. As part of this joy, you will be very affected with the gossip that's going to be roaming around you and you will know who is the one who's spreading this and unfortunately it happens to be somebody who's very close to you. That you didn't know, who's been very insecure and envious of you for a long period of time, and you've been like, this person knows, you know, what's really going on with you, and you didn't know that this person has a different agenda or has a double personality or this person is two-faced. Now, you will try to set it aside, but then it will still be, you know, pulling you down or you know just for a little while that you're going to be feeling a little bit depressed that why did you ever trust the wrong person now you will be attending a very important celebration i feel like there will be some announcement or there will be some it's like there will be a dinner that the company will be forming and that all of you all of the important officers and executives needs to be there and you will also be brushing shoulders with the key people and you'll be um you know, expanding your network or your social circle or your business circle. And you're going to be dedicating much of your time, um, well, helping out other people, plus forming another formula for an upcoming project, which will give you and your company much more revenue. Okay. And it will also be, um, it's like your aim is to make the company number one. And you're the one who should be behind it. And this is going to be your goal. Okay. And of course, the company will like it. Now, when it comes to your romantic life, um, you know, as I've said, that there is a water sign that's going to be coming into your life. But then you're going to be having some second thoughts. Okay. Because for some who's already with an earth sign you don't really have to deal with another water sign or with a water sign as an excess or like a side relationship and not to mention that your life is already fizzled and complicated because of this air sign that's very obsessed in ruining you okay now there will be some disappointments and uh jealousy okay and fights and conflicts bickering and bantering uh, because of this um, water sign that's going to be very attracted to you. But I don't feel like it's going to be a fatal attraction. So don't worry about it. You can handle it. When it comes to your sex, as I've said that, you know, last month you're going to be going through some sexual harassment. It will still be continuously going on this month. And you need to do something about it. Meanwhile, when it comes to your own relationship or marriage, things will become even more rowdy. And uh, the two of you will be agreeing on trying something different and wild. But this is going to be until the, only this month. Right after this, you're just going to go back to how you really do it. Now, when it comes to your health, feeling a little bit conscious about how you look like and growing some acne that's like, you know, it's sprucing up anywhere and out of the blue. And you feel a little bit, uh, you know, it's like when you, when, you know, when you were still a teenager. This is how it's, you know, this is how it was. And... It's like, you know, when you were still a teenager, your 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 acne just grow here and there, and uh, you don't even know how to prevent it. And right now that you're all the older, all the of age, um, that is how it's actually happening right now. We're rolling. Now be very careful with some airborne diseases or pass on diseases. And again, you know, with your pets, it seems like your pet will be sick or will be falling ill all of a sudden so be very careful about that that it might also affect you or infect you now you have to eat on time otherwise you're going to have some problems with your stomach with your liver and with your kidney or you know when you pee 
which is the UTI. Aside from that, your immune system and your lungs will slowly get better and will get even more stronger. It's just that your extra sensitivity to light and your eyes, that's going to be a problem. Your depression and your frustration, you're going to be setting it aside and I feel like you will learn how to manage it, okay? Let's take a look at your singles forecast this month of October. Sorry. <laughs> okay, here. Okay, some single Leos during this month of October, you will just decide to take some time off from work or you will be resigning because there is a new job opportunity that you're about to do, start, or a new chapter is about to begin into your life, okay? And you don't really have to worry about your finances because you're going to be well provided and you will have enough. It's just that there are some things in your life, especially if you're going to be dealing with some losses, this is the only time that you will be needing some support, help, and guidance, and some company of a friend or somebody that you can actually just, you know, vent out with. Um, and overall, there will be some news that will be flying your way, and it's not going to be something that you really want to hear. Um, I don't see any potential for the dates or love life, and it seems like the, uh, you know, the person that you've been seeing for the past two months, um, I don't feel like they're gonna, still going to be present during this month of October as I feel like you are the one who's going to be cutting them off because of their inconsistencies and you already have enough drama of your own. You, do, you don't want to get dragged into their own drama and since that they're also trying to manipulate you, this is something that you couldn't really handle and stand, okay? Now your finances will still be okay. Your job is some Leos will be resigning, some Leos will be um, opening up their own business, and some Leos will be um, starting a new job altogether. All right, let's take a look at your November forecast.
All right. Month of November for you will be a little bit uh, up and down. Now, the good thing here is I don't see any legal battles that you still have to face. So, hopefully, the month of September it will be over by then. Anyway, um, there are actually three people that you will try to avoid and that you will try not to see or come across and it has something to do with your job. You want to start something on your own and you're, you know, you just don't want some old issues or some old stuff that will come out in the open again because you just want to move on from that but unfortunately there are some people who doesn't know how to be happy and who doesn't want to see other people become happy or be happy so they're going to try and create some problems or difficulties for you or some slandering okay um i feel like this is the time that you shouldn't that you shouldn't just stay quiet about it it's also time for you to you know, to um, talk back and to fight this three, you know. And it's time to put them where they should be standing or it's time for you to put them where they should be placed. Because they know that they cannot, you know, they cannot really get you fired. They try to set you up for a problem, but the management believes you more than this three. So anyway, um, and you will actually straighten out a lie that they've been spreading about you. And you'll be uh, coming out of um, the surface, or you're going to be coming out on top of this, or you're going to be coming out as a winner. Okay, just try to be a little bit more stronger. Now... When it comes to your work, as I've said, you know, to continue, that coming out from the storm, there is already a light that's already, you know, emerging, and you just need to see it, follow the, you know, follow the path and follow where it's guiding you, and stop daydreaming most of the time, and stop being so, um, what do you call this, like, being so timid, and, uh, I know that I told you to be a little bit more patient, but not to be timid and to let people run you over like this, okay? Now, there is somebody that you're going to be meeting, more likely for, for a professional advice, and this person will be helping you out more with your endeavor, with your projects, and more likely that you'll be consulting this person about the project that you're currently doing or the, you know, um, with the thing that you want to submit as another um, project for the for the management to agree and um, approve. I also feel like some Leos will start to write a book during this month, okay? And I feel like you're gonna be a little bit more friendlier to those people who's younger than you are just starting out their career, so you're gonna be their mentor. Now, when it comes to your love life, Dealing with some female relatives or some in-laws, you know, that you're trying to cut off away from your life, but then it's kind of inevitable because they're the one who's going to be coming to you, not the other way around. And as much as you don't want to see their faces anymore, you really have to. And you'll feel a little bit, uh, what do you call this, restrained and... They're also going to be humiliating you in a family gathering, okay? So, aside from this, you're going to be a little bit thankful that you don't really have to stay there for long. Or that you're just going to be making yourself a little bit more invisible and just sneak around when they're no longer looking and just leave the, the scene or the situation or the gathering, okay? Aside from that... There will be some things about the air sign that will be coming out of the, you know, coming out of the surface and out of the blue that people will start talking about him or her or people will start, you know, mentioning about what really happened and then you're going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. And despite of this, you know, they're still going to continue doing it. So I don't see any problem with your, you know, with your partner 
especially for those Leos who's with a water or earth sign, I don't see any problems during this month. It's just that it's all about the in-laws and families, okay? Now, when it comes to your sex life, you feel like your partner is too dry or not really feeling in the groove for that and you're feeling a little bit disconcerted and feeling a little bit uh, concerned that maybe your partner is no longer attracted to you so you're going to be starting to think of more ways and um and you're also going to start thinking about how to make your partner jealous but it's actually not the right thing okay and there are also times that you will try to ambush your partner to, just to have sex with you and um you know, like picking them up from their work and then you're going to go straight to the motel and, you know, try to do it there because you're thinking that maybe the change of environment will help you to have more active sex life. Um, I feel like it's you're going to have some erectional dysfunction, but it's just that most of the time they're not really in the mood and they're always tired. Okay? Now, and you're also going to be a little bit brutal, okay, this month. Now, when it comes to your health, I feel like you're going to be doing fine, except that be careful with secondhand smoking or, you know, if you're kind of smoking right now, try to avoid that or try to slowly cut it off, okay, because of your teeth that is going to be very much affected, plus your breath and your ulcer that will, you know, slowly come out of the surface again. Be careful with wild animals and your immune system. For some reason, this entire year, because there's only one month left, um, this entire year, your immune system will be an issue, okay? Um, aside from that, migraines, and uh, be careful, and uh, take care of your breast and your bones, and you need to have some more sleep, okay? Because you're pretty much tired, and you're mentally stressed. You need to have a break. See, the funny thing here is, there are three women that will be ganging up on you when it comes to your, you know, when it comes to your workplace and when it comes to your in-laws. You know, if you don't have any three in-laws, let's say, for example, mother-in-law, sister-in-law, or something like that, then obviously this is not really for you. But if you're currently going through some stuff with your in-laws, then better take note. Then you better take note of, um, you know, what they're going to be doing to you. It's like the scene of Cinderella. Looks like single Leos this month of November, you're going to have a fight with an air sign woman that will be putting you into a trouble or that will be creating trouble for you. Even though you don't really want to, I feel like this is more likely your mother or your own mother, okay? Uh, please take notice that this is only a general reading, so it doesn't really apply to all of you. Um, or it could be a mother figure. This person is going to be acting a little bit bitter towards you and not um, let's just say that they're very unethical, okay? And they need to stay wherever they are instead of dipping their fingers into your business. Now... Mm. I feel like you will be dealing with a water sign boss, okay? Or you're going to be dealing with a water sign higher, well, it's a person that has an authority in the, of a higher position. And even though you're only trying to do your best, this person wants to drive you more you know, to the edge and uh, wants you to exert more effort and perform your, 
you know, your duties and obligations better than how you're doing right now. Now, as far as your love life is concerned, I feel like you're going to stop looking for some prospects or dates online. And you just want to start looking for somebody that you will be meeting in flesh. Okay? Instead of just hanging around online and deal with some pretentious pricks or people who's going to be like wearing a mask and then later on will just try to take advantage of you. And this is the reason why you're going to stop, you know, it's like you're going to be removing or um, like erasing all of your online accounts when it comes to online dating. Okay. Now, the person that you're going to be meeting, which is I feel like you're going to be meeting somebody at a bar. It's not really a very healthy place. So, I feel like it's much better for you to... Go for someone that your friend will be referring you to instead of hanging around with this person that you're going to be meeting at a bar or a club because it's not going to be healthy, okay? Your work, it seems like you need to put more effort because you are under a lot of stress and you will also be under a lot of scrutiny, okay? Let's take a look finally at your month of December. Okay, now, finally the month of December, it seems like you're going to be moving to your new house. Although the agent or um, whoever, the person that will be handling this or will be giving you the key won't really be telling you the truth 
or that there are some things that you need to know about the place, but then you will get it resolved, okay? Um, later on, you will just, you know, find out about it and you can get all sorted out yourself. And if you will be, um, you know, like running after the, the agent or the landlord, then you're, you're just going to make your life even more difficult. Not to mention that this month is actually the time for holiday, so everyone will be very busy. Now, middle of the month, you will be seeing your family, but then you're going to be feeling a little bit walled up. You just want to be there just for the sake of being there. And you'll be feeling a little bit aloof and depressed and frustrated because there are two water sign people that will be making your life a little bit more gloomy. Not really oblivious, but gloomy. And you will be traveling along with this older fire sign by the end of the month, but be very careful, okay? Everything is not what it seems to be. Now, by the end of the month, there is something that you will be facing. And I feel like if you're trying to fight for a custody or trying to fight for your son, um... Uh, you'd have to live for for a little while okay uh, you need some more evidence you need some more stuff okay or support or a better counsel anyway um, things could still change and I feel like you know this whole thing has been going on for like for the entire year so, hopefully 2020 will be bringing you some brand new hopes, okay? Anyway, when it comes to your workplace, it seems like... Ah, it seems like you're going to be not really transferred, but you will be assigned momentarily in a place or in a branch in a big city. Okay, and you're going to be very happy because you will be away for a little while from that toxic place. And I feel like you're going to be home for holidays because finally your boss will be letting you have a break. And aside from that, you're going to be very happy because you're going to be the boss of your own. And you'll be moving to a new department, new team, new branch, or new... Not really new company, but I feel like this is more of a different environment. Okay, well, it's a good thing that the, 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 the management have already made a decision of removing you from that toxic place since the three women won't really leave you alone. Okay, or with three people. Now, when it comes to your love life, hmm, it's, it looks like somebody will be making you an offer. Okay. It looks like somebody will be making you an offer of marriage, but just so that they will, you know, reverse whatever they've been accusing you of. But then you feel like, no way, I'm not going to marry this person just because that, you know, this, you know, this is for those Leos who's um, domesticated or leaving with somebody but not yet married. And I feel like there will be some more arguments. This person will still try and manipulate you. And this person will still try and make you follow or chase them down or even kiss their feet. Which is, obviously, it's not going to happen. And you will be traveling by the middle of the month. And you'll be thinking of more ways. And you'll have the answer to your questions and the solution to your problem. But unfortunately, it's just going to be another waste of money. Okay. I feel like whatever plan or whatever solution that you'll be thinking, you have to think or come up with something that is more effective. Um, when it comes to your sex life, breaking the habits and breaking the, um, you know, from your normal routine. And I feel like you're going to be into role playing during this month, but then your partner will be very boring. That's why it will be driving you mad and insane. And you are going to be losing your temper since that you're already having a lot of stress and hard time at work. And then when it comes to your home or when it comes to your partner, it looks like they're, it's like they're, they're closing their door 
or they keep on rejecting you and this is something that's more of a big slap okay so you will be a little bit more hot tempered irritated and i feel like some leos will be it's like they're gonna find out that they are also pregnant during this month okay uh speaking of your health it seems like things were gonna be doing a little bit more okay i don't see any problems whatsoever except that um you need to have more sleep frequent chest pain and high blood pressure and i feel like oh it's just a minor accident that you'll be breaking your finger um some leos will be a little bit clumsy because you're gonna be uh, getting your four fingers caught in the um car door okay and still you know be careful in driving at night because i feel like you're going to be feeling a little bit sleepy and tired that's why i keep on telling you you need to catch up some more sleep because otherwise you're going to have some narcolepsy okay let's take a look singles what's going to be coming your way Okay, good news singles. Finally, this month, somebody will be offering you... <laughs> well, this person is not even from your past. But somebody out of the blue, somebody will just offer you marriage or commitment. And it's actually for convenience. But you're going to be very surprised. Um, I feel like there's something... In return for that, but don't really buy this, okay? But definitely you'll be meeting somebody that's more of your equal and somebody that is, you know, that you're destined to be with. Not for your final destination, but I feel like this is timely. And um, I feel like it's already up to you if you, you know, if you feel like this is really the one. But I feel like it's going to be a short-lived one. This person is very impulsive, and with this kind of attitude and with this kind of approach, you have to check their sanity as well, you know, if they are actually normal. Now, aside from that, you will be rising to the occasion and you will be removing all of the, you know, all of the things that you're carrying on your shoulder. You'll be coming up with a solution and you will be finding people who will be helping you to reach the top and to come up with a solution that you've been fighting and going through for the past few months. And you will be like, you know, it's like your heartbreak will finally be washed or will finally be healing and you will be helping yourself up. All right. By the end of the month, you will be meeting, you will be meeting somebody who is a younger fire sign. All right. And aside from that, let's take a look at your work. Oh, you're going to be resigning again. Okay, now I know that some people, you know, some of you, okay, let's just put it here. Some of you ask that it's a little bit confusing or vague. That why is it that when it comes to singles, it's not really as pleasing as how it sounds with the, with the couples or somebody, or it's like in general. 
Now, it actually depends. You know, there are millions of Leos all over the world, and it's up to you whichever can be, um, whichever can actually um, resonate with you. Okay, if the uh, the first reading for work, uh, when it comes to couples, resonates more with you, then, you know, uh, then you can relate to it and uh, take note of all the, uh, you know, the, the warnings of the cards. But if it's... Um, you know, if you're single and you kind of match with his uh, the description of the card, then I feel like that is what you need to, you know, to heed instead of confusing yourself that, no, I want to hear more from this movie because this is more positive. It's not really going to help out your situation in the first place, but it's already up to you. All right. Have a great 2019 and thank you for subscribing, sharing and watching my videos. All right. I will have more announcements to come, but I don't want to say it for now because it's not yet ready, okay? But there will be more services that we'll be um, releasing and launching. Plus, I'm actually thinking of bringing back the um, uh, the one question free reading, okay? Live on YouTube, all right? So anyway, watch out for that announcement and blessings to you. If you want to have your own personal forecast, Please go and visit me at my website at sophiaangel.net and you may talk to me live on the phone. Live video call will be back soon. Okay, soon enough. And that is also going to be one of the announcements that we will be making because we're already creating new things and new services. So watch out for that. And um, anyway, I'm available from 7 p.m. until 12 midnight and 7 a.m. until 10 a.m. ESD every day. All right. Blessings to you and have a great 2019. And now you may watch my YouTube videos inside the app of Daily Horoscope by Cheetah Mobile. You know, the good thing about this app is that it's not just all about horoscope. Okay. You may also ask your burning question, especially if you can't wait for a psychic to talk to. And this is a very quick and concise, in-depth explanation that will just give you all the information that you really need to know about your love life, your money and finances, plus your health. And right after browsing all the meetings, you know, choosing all the cards, you may go and browse for more, like the advanced forecast for tomorrow, weekly, monthly, and yearly. Now, there are also some other areas in this app that you may find very useful and informative, like their relationship articles and other, you know, um, things about the zodiac signs. And if you're also dating, go and check out your match with their featured tab. And choose your sign and then the sign of the person that you're dating plus their personalities, you know, make it work, last long, and, you know, or it's is it just much better to cut it off. You may also check out their Chinese signs and don't forget to get their birth, their birth year as well, all right, for more compatibilities. So, for more information, check out the description box below. It's available in Google Play and Apple Play Store.